Hey, welcome in. This is my real daily setup in Cursor. I'm going to show the look, the settings that keep me calm, the extensions I actually keep, my simple TypeScript rhythm, and how I use AI without getting in my own way. All right, let's set this up so it feels good to work and it helps you ship. I keep the visuals really clean. I use the theme color Ariaka Dark. It has this calm mix of soft blues and ink green tones, all my favorite colors in one theme. Font size is around 16 to 18, mini maps off so there's no clutter, breadcrumbs on when I'm navigating, and I keep highlight current line enabled so my eyes always know exactly where I am in the file. Inside cursor settings, I keep autofix lints on. For anything that wants the terminal or the network, I prefer a tap to approve flow and a tool slash command allow list. Tiny guardrails, big peace of mind. So let's talk about long files. The way I handle long files is, I consistently use command F to jump between functions in a file. I build up contextual memory for what the functions I'm looking for are called. So jumping between them with search is faster than having multiple files open, which can also take up more real estate on the screen. To quickly jump back to what I was typing, command Z will scroll back to the previous location. I also separate functions when they get too big by adding a comment divider to create visual landmarks. I think of AI in cursor like a toolbox. Each model and feature has its job. Chat is where I plan things. If I'm opening a new file, I'll just ask, explain what this component does, or outline the safest way to refactor this. It helps me think before I start changing code. Inline edits and autocomplete are for when I'm actually writing. I'll stay right in the code, accept the small suggestions that feel right and ignore the rest. That keeps me in flow. If a task touches multiple parts, like API, UI, and test, I'll open multiple agents so each one focuses on its own area. But I always review every diff manually before committing anything. For models, here's what I actually use. Claude 4.5 for UI work, refactors, and readability checks. GPT-5 for backend logic, data modeling, and performance questions. Gemini, when I just want a second opinion or a simpler pattern, that mix keeps it balanced. Different strengths for different kinds of thinking. For extensions, I keep things really lean. Just what actually helps me code faster. I use ESLint and Prettier to keep the code consistent and clean every time I save. Tailwind CSS IntelliSense and Tailwind Docs give me instant class name hints and quick lookups right in the editor. ECMAScript 2016 plus React Snippet saves me a ton of typing. It's how I spin up imports on new components in seconds. Markdown All-in-One is perfect for readme's or quick project notes. And VS Code Icons just makes the file tree easier to read. It's small, but it matters when you're in files all day. I've got a few optional ones I open only when I need them. Live Server for small static demos. Figma for VS code when I'm checking designs. Nothing fancy, just fewer clicks, less setup, and more focus on actually building stuff. Here's the little rhythm I follow when I'm writing in TypeScript and using AI to code. I always start by defining my types first. Things like product, price, or user. It gives structure to what I'm about to build. Sometimes I write it out myself, and sometimes I let the AI write it for me by just explaining everything I need in plain English. I use inline edits to apply those changes across files, and I let autocomplete fill in the smaller stuff like props or variable names. This also works well across files and folders. In Cursor version 2, there's the new agents tab where you have a clean view of only the AI agents. Nothing destructing in case you vibe code a lot. I open the chat and ask something like, create the interface based on the types I have defined. Add a style guide and let it go. Or I can ask the AI to explain this type error and give me two safe fixes with their trade-offs. It helps me understand. Choose the best option and not just patch it. Once it compiles cleanly, I do a quick manual test in the browser just to confirm everything feels right. That's it. Simple loop, plan then edit, then type check, then quick test.
My next tool is Test Sprite. This one is a real game changer for any vibe coder. Before, testing your code was such a pain, but not anymore. Test Sprite is an AI agent that tests your code and gives you clear feedback on how to improve it. It's the perfect workflow companion when using Cursor. It's completely free to use their MCP server. You just create an API key, click one button, and it's instantly installed in Cursor. After that, you can simply tell it to test my app with Test Sprite. Cursor will automatically understand that it should use the MCP and handle everything for you. It validates what you have by understanding your code and its context, then suggests what's missing, what's wrong, and what should be improved. You can also use it with any other coding environment that supports MCP. And these are the results for my current project. Seems like I have some work to do, but that's so great. Now I know how to plan and continue building, thanks to Test Sprite. And that's it, my current coding workflow and setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what's your favorite extension you cannot live without. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.